I'm detecting a set of stairs just up ahead. Would you please try going down a floor? Got it. Let us know if anything else comes up. This maze is rather troublesome. We must hurry on. Are you still upset at how you and his friends got caught up in this? I am. But what truly bothers me is how I cannot get a full grasp on the Shominazuku character, who has been behind everything. Are we sure he's a Persona user? When he fought against Labras, he didn't use a Persona. When I spoke directly with Minazuki, I saw his persona myself. This matches with what Narukami and his friends attested. Could he have an accomplice? An accomplice? Hmm. Akihiko, this is only a hypothesis, but what if there were two Minazukis to begin with? Two? You mean the one who called himself Sho and the one who called himself Minazuki are two different people? No. His personalities changed before our very eyes. There's no doubt that they're the same body. But what if this isn't a case of multiple identity disorder? What if the two truly are completely separate personalities existing in the same body? Completely separate? What do you mean? Mitsuru-senpai! I'm detecting a shadow just up ahead of you! It'd be too much trouble to try to head back. Let's break through here, Mitsuru. It seems there's no other way. The situation is growing more and more dire by the moment. We must deal with this as quickly as possible. It's been a while. You two seem to have made it out of your predicament. How does it feel to have been rounded up like that? Enough idle conversation. Let's get this over with. We don't have a lot of time. Wait, Akihiko. There's something I want you to tell me before I slay you. What is it? You can ask, but it doesn't mean I'll answer. Who created you, fake people? Who is Minazuki? Huh. That's an odd thing to ask. Didn't you meet him yourself only a few moments ago? You should ask him yourself. Then again, you won't be given that chance as you'll never leave here. your head. Keep training. <laughs> that was enjoyable. Please sit back and enjoy the spectacle of extinction. Well then. Yeah, no problems on our end. The shadow disappeared before we could get any information out of it, though. We can't waste any time. Let's keep moving while we talk. Okay. Please head down those stairs, then. That should get you out of the tower. Mitsuru, back to what we were talking about earlier. It 
looked like Sho changed right in front of us. He switched personalities. What makes you think that it's not the ordinary form of split personality? Do you recall the conversation in the limo about Ikutsuki's personal experiments? I said there was an indication that a plume of dust was used. You mean the human experimentation we were talking about? It's definitely something a guy like Ikutsuki would have come up with. What if Ikutsuki's experiments on Minazuki involved transplanting a plume of dusk into a living person? What? Why would he do something like that? Considering that it could have been part of Ergo Research's attempts to create artificial persona users, it makes sense. It's most likely that Ikutsuki implanted a plume of dusk into Minazuki in order to intentionally try to force a persona to appear. But Sho Minazuki didn't awaken to the persona ability. That much can be gathered from the fact that Ikutsuki labeled the experiment a failure. Contrary to Ikutsuki's expectations, though, the experiment had a different result. What? Don't tell me. Hmm. If a plume of dust was implanted into the body of a person who already had a personality, what would happen? A plume of dust stimulates the creation of an ego. So it's not out of the question that it would create a new personality in the same body. According to the records, after the operation, Minazuki entered a vegetative state after some time. Thus, Ikutsuki let go of Minazuki. He was then transported to a hospital in the suburbs of Inaba, and there are no records of Minazuki from there on. What happened from that point on, I can only speculate. But I wonder what sort of life Minazuki led after he regained consciousness. Labra said that she wanted to speak with Minazuki. And now, so do I. We'd better rescue Yukiko's group and get back here then. Indeed. Let us accomplish our duties with haste. Fuka, what's Yukiko's position? Um, I sent something southeast of there. Please be careful. 